This is Robin Bremer. RobinBremer.net is my website. Go to it, check it out. Leave some comments and replies. Today, I am going to go over, I'm going to talk about Donald Trump. This is a hot issue. It's very fascinating and interesting. And uh, I'm going to talk about my response and what I believe should be a Christian's response to Donald Trump and what's going on. So the first thing I want to do is uh, go ahead and leave your comments. I can see them under here and I'll, I'll talk about them <laughs> as you leave your comments. But the first thing I want to do is Donald Trump is recently a brand new Christian. Okay. Donald Trump is like a big fat spoiled brat. Uh, but who wasn't and who isn't. His personality kind of goes that way. But this videotape that surfaced recently, I really sincerely believe that this is a tactic of the enemy. Now, if you're not a Christian, you're going to say, what in the world are you talking about? I don't agree with you. But as a Christian, you can see that this whole purpose of this nasty video coming up now is to get us upset, to get us so that we... Um, won't vote for him uh, so that we'll vote for Hillary. Now, as a Christian, you got to really think about this. What does Hillary stand for? She stands for everything that goes against our, our right and our beliefs and our values as a Christian. She wants to allow um, people in our country and welcome them with open arms who do not have the same belief system, the same value that our Constitution and the whole reason we are called the United States is is based on. Hi from Germany. <laughs> um, thanks from Canada. Um, thank you for, you know, uh, saying something and letting me know who you are and where you're from. But Hillary believes in late-term abortion. And as a Christian, life is valuable. And we don't uh, agree with abortion of any kind at any time. There's always other adopt, always other options you can adopt. You can pray and believe God to change that child if it's deformed or something's wrong in your womb. That child was created for a purpose. The devil took uh, took that child and, and, and caused, if it's deformed or has sickness or disease, that's not from God. The sickness and disease is from the devil. Um, so there is absolutely no reason ever to get an abortion. And if you got an abortion, you're forgiven. It, it It's okay. You got abortion. That child is in heaven waiting for you. That child loves you. That child can't wait till you go to heaven and be with that child. So there no guilt, shame, condemnation on somebody who got an abortion. Okay. But Hillary will believes in abortion and will continue to uh, front that uh, and push that agenda. She also believes um, in a lot of the things that the Obama administration already has put into focus. And she also uh, believes in everybody having equal rights. Well, everyone can have equal rights, but when you come to my country to live in my country, you adopt yourself to my standards, my rules, not your country's rules. If you want your country's rules, then you need to go back to your country. Okay. And Hillary believes in giving everyone equal rights. In other words, terrorists and Muslims who believe in killing the infidel, which is me, a Christian, and so on. Um, they don't. They don't have those same values. So unless they're willing to raise their hand and, and and say, you know, they believe in the Constitution of America and what we believe in, they can't be citizens. And if they can't be citizens, they can't have welfare. They can't be fed. And Hillary believes that they should all have these free handouts. Where our veterans go, I'm a veteran, my dad's a veteran, my grandfather's a veteran. The veterans are being left and pushed aside. Uh, um, Trump believes in the veteran. Trump wants to bless the veteran. Trump finds this very important. Uh, Hillary does not. Hillary has nothing to do with that. Uh, Hillary do doesn't really say anything about the wall. She wants to invite everybody in. She wants to take on their views and their beliefs. And this whole agenda of making everyone equal, same thing, same sex marriage. Okay, if you're, if you are of that, if you are same sex, you're attracted to the same sex, you know, there's, there's only one problem with that is you're created in the image of God and in the likeness of God. And God doesn't make no mistakes. So whatever sex you were created, that is the sex that God intended you to be. That is the sex that you will blossom in and that you will be. 
as far as transgender goes. And that is not talking about medical issues where you're born both ways. And if you're a homosexual, you weren't born that way. Something happened in your past that made you fall out with your um, your parent at that uh, in that same. Um, in, in other words, if you're a female and you're gay, it's because you had a falling out with your mother. You you believe somehow you disconnected from your mother, and you're looking for that reassurance in the same same sex relationship. Um, those people who are um, bisexual or transsexual or transgender, those people. Uh, and gay, they have a high calling in their life. Uh, and they have a very high calling. And the devil recognizes that. And he has deceived them and convinced them to um, go for this lifestyle. And this is the agenda that Hillary will push and that she believes in. And this comes through through equal rights. Uh, taking the equal rights thing and, and distorting it and twisting it. So we, we don't want that agenda. If you don't vote at all, you're going to end up voting. For Hillary and you're gonna have uh, Obama made a mess I think he's the worst president in history he made a mess and so you can have a continuation and acceleration and even worse than that if Hillary gets into office so number one her values and Trump's values are totally different um, and I'm gonna talk about some of the stupid stuff of Trump but I'm, I'm basically talking I want to show it with you if you don't vote you're voting for Hillary and Hillary believes in abortion she believes in equal rights for everybody which means that everybody who does not have our values that our nation is based on will change our constitution so our constitution agrees with their values which is having sex with babies marrying young children cutting off people's heads who you disagree with um, and all that kind of thing that Sharia law uh, will do uh, and, and it, it will it will be more than you can imagine, worse than you can imagine. So you don't want Hillary in there because of those values that she's pushing. She's taking a good thing, equal rights, and she's twisting it to um, to invite um, death to Christians and our values. And even people who aren't Christian, when Trump, I believe Trump is called of God to be the man for this time, and I'll talk about that later. And if I forget to, you can ask me a question here. I see what some of you are saying. Um, I can ask you, uh, I, you can remind me, uh, anyway, I might get uh, goose, uh, rabbit trails here, um, saying different stuff, but, um, I don't even know what I was saying. I was looking at somebody's question, so I'm going to go there unless somebody reminds me. Uh, Dale said something about, didn't Jesus invite people in who didn't have the same beliefs? Yes, he did. He invited them in, but he didn't change his beliefs because of them. He didn't become like them. He drew them to him to become like him. We're created in his image and his likeness. So we should have his values and his belief systems. And these people that are coming in from other countries do not hold those values and the belief systems. And they, they don't even hold our constitution. They don't, they don't believe the same thing that our country is founded on. And because of that, they are changing laws like same-sex marriage, uh, um, uh, changing your sex. A six-year-old child can feel like today that I don't feel like I'm a boy, I'm a girl. So his parents allows him to do everything like a girl. That, excuse me, I don't even want to say that word. It messes up the child's head. The child does not know. Today he's Superman, tomorrow he's Batman. Okay, so a child does not know. Even an adult does not know. An adult is basically deceived in those things because the devil is going, I want to, I kind of want to write a book. I have 36 books right now. I kind of want to write a book called America in an Identity Crisis because the whole thing comes down to our identity. And that is what the devil is doing. He is taking our identity from us. If we don't know if we're black or white, if we don't know if we matter or if we're Indian, um, if we don't know if we're male or female, if we don't know if um, um, that marriage is a covenant between same uh, uh, one man and one woman, a marriage is a covenant. If we don't know these things, um, and if we we're being deceived and our whole identity is being robbed from us. And that's basically what's happening um, through the Obama administration and through uh, the, the election now and what Hillary stands for and what Trump does not stand for. And, and we're just being all um, deceived uh, on our um, who we are, our identity. Uh, we have to think our identity as Americans was founded on our Christian beliefs and values. That's why we pulled away from our mother country, because we wanted these things. And 
when our leadership allows change to come to our country that are not in alignment with what our country was based on and who this country is, then we have lost our identity. And um, that's what we've been fighting for. That's why there is all this different stuff. Okay, you can, you, you know, kill a baby until it's born because it's inconvenient to you. The baby has no right. Okay, have sex with a baby. Have have a, a nine-year-old little girl and, you know, marry her because, you know, that's that's normal because they lost their identity. Um, okay, uh, dress where nothing shows but your eyes because you aren't important enough. You have no identity. See, we have lost our identity. And that's basically, it's about a fight of identity and authority. America needs to stay America. And we started and were valued on Christian education, a Christian foundation. And that is where we still need to come from. I see a question here. Uh, but it doesn't, doesn't it start that way that there are times when all all of us weren't Christians. There are plenty of Muslims who converted. Yes, yeah, that's true. There are plenty of Muslims who have converted to Christianity. And I'm not saying that all Muslims are bad. Um, what I'm saying is the belief system, the value system that other people have. Uh, and right now, it's pretty much we're talking about Muslims because that's our main terrorism problem. And I have friends that are are, are Muslims. That I have a ventriloquist friend that, that's a Muslim, and he's a nice guy. Um and the and of course we want them to convert to Christianity because that has a whole different value system. Uh, we value life even from a baby infant on. We value life, and right now our country is not portraying our Christian values. And Hillary will continue to portray what our values are not. Whoops! There goes that earring. What our values are not as a nation. Trump is a baby Christian and he does stupid stuff and has done stupid stuff, extremely stupid stuff in the past. And with this video, this is just a tactic of the enemy to say, don't vote for him because he's a jerk. Okay. Well, let me address that real quick. Um, let's see if anyone else has a comment here. Let me address that, uh, this video. First of all, I haven't watched TV. I don't have a TV in my house. I have a video screen. I watch video. And I'm not saying this to brag. And I'm not saying this to put you down. My point is, as a Christian, I see so much stuff on TV. Seven, eight, nine years ago, the last time I watched it, that I can't, I don't even watch TV. The only reason that I would watch TV is to talk to the weather, to talk to whatever is going on and take authority and dominion over it. And TV, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. I keep getting on these rabbit trails. <laughs> um, but I want to make sure I, I keep reading your comments and, and saying, okay. Okay, um, I'm going to go on a rabbit trail again. Uh, Dale is saying, um, Dale is saying about converting if we keep them out. I'm not saying keep everybody out who doesn't believe the same we're saying. We believe... What I'm saying is Trump is talking about creating a system where we check out the beliefs and the values and make sure that they take on our beliefs and values of the Constitution when they become American citizen. He's making a system that is better than what we have, that they don't fit through the loopholes, come in as refugees. They're really terrorists and they really intend on killing us. And um, so what I'm saying is about uh, the wall and uh, having better screening is Trump wants to have the wall so that they that the cartel drug cartel uh, can't come over and steal our Texas towns like our border towns. They're being kicked out uh, every night. They're coming over the border illegally and they are destroying property and damaging. And, 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 th and that border wall needs to be there because when people come into our country, they need to swear allegiance to what we believe without changing our system and our laws. And um, as far as uh, people coming in uh, from other countries, we need to limit that because we need to take care of our own people first. We need to have our veterans stop dying on the street. We need to feed our veterans. We need to take care of our veterans. We are, I, I can almost not believe what we are doing to our veterans. And they are so traumatized. I was a veteran, but all I did was chase boys. I was stupid. All I did was chase boys, okay? I was a stupid veteran. 
and I am so embarrassed when at church every Veterans Day, every Fourth uh, of July or whatever, they always say, "Well, all the veterans stand up," and I stand up, and I'm I, I want to shrink because all I did was chase boys, where these veterans fought in wars, they they did horrible things that they were told to do, that they didn't have no choice or, or, or tried to get out of, it, and things that they're ashamed of. They fought, they they did so much for our country, and we treat them like trash. And Trump is for the veteran. Trump knows what the veteran is. Trump was a jerk and he did stupid stuff and at times, but he has come around. He has come around. He's come to, in, in this election, he has gotten to know the people. He has the heart of the people. He cares about the people. And he has so much money that he can't be bought. If you look at Hillary, she can be bought. She is bought. Uh, you look at who's backing her. You look at her medical history, her medical attacks. What are they hiding from us? Uh, is she even fit to be physically fit to be a president? Um, just the fact of the deception of, of the email things. And I don't even really know what that's about because I didn't, um, I don't have, like I said, I don't have a TV. So what I'm saying is look at Hillary in her whole election process right here. Her whole history of just the election process of her deception, her lies, um, and her hiding and stuff. And then look at Trump. He admits, okay, I said this stuff. It was stupid out of this video. I said this stuff. It was stupid. I shouldn't have done it. I don't believe this way. I, I, I apologize. He is, he is a totally different man, has totally different values than, than uh, Hillary does. Um, and so I don't watch TV and as a Christian, it is the best choice I have ever made in my life. I got to the point where I don't even like the sound of the radio or the TV. Uh, I only watch certain uh, certain teachers because God only allows me to watch certain teachers that teach what he's teaching me or where I'm going or where I'm headed. And I mostly study the word myself except for a few preachers that I listen to. But... When I go somewhere to a friend's house or something or I see a commercial, you know what you're supposed to do when you see stuff on TV that does not agree with heaven on earth? For example, um, this, um, like a terrorist attack at, at an airport. Okay, you would look at the TV and you say, in Jesus' name, there will not be loss of lives. I command you, you spirit of terrorism, to you be gone. You will not happen in my community, in my country, in my city, in Jesus' name. I take authority over you. I bind you, and I don't allow you to happen here. When a tornado comes, you speak to that tornado. When the weatherman says, this is the tornado, and this is what's happening, you talk to that tornado. As a Christian, you have that right. You have that privilege. You have that honor. And not even just that. You are supposed to be ruling over this world. So you talk to the tornado. You command it to stop, if whether the weatherman's saying it, or it's a hurricane or whatever, and, and so on. You talk to it. And that's the only reason I watch when I see TV at someone else's house. Otherwise, it's a bunch of trash. So um, when did Christian convert to Christianity? Um, um, uh, uh, Trump converted to Christianity, I believe it was just months ago, maybe half a year ago or less. Um, he is a baby Christian. Um, he has converted to Christianity and he has been uh, mentored. He's being mentored for by people. And now if you're religious, you probably won't like this, but he's been mentored by people of faith. He's not been men mentored by... Um, denomination he's been mentored by um people who believe in speaking in tongues people who believe in laying hands on the sick and and he's he's beginning to grow he's a baby baby christian and he doesn't have much education so he doesn't talk the talk he, he still swears and you know does all that stuff none of us are perfect some of us do stupid stuff you know you know so i'm not saying that donald trump is perfect I'm saying that he does act like a spoiled brat and a child, and I'm saying that this video that has surfaced, I won't. I refuse to allow that stuff to get into my soul, because everything we listen to, we read, and we watch gets into our soul, and it contaminates it, and 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 it becomes part of us. And I refuse to listen to it, and I, I know it's trash, and there serves no purpose. Um, there serves absolutely no purpose to watch it. I know it's trash, and but. You, what you got to figure out is Trump apologized. He said he was sorry. He said he was wrong. He got to know the people. He got to know God. And I believe that Donald Trump is the man of God called for this hour 
to be our president. And he is not called to be a preacher, a goody goody person. He is called to be a man of God. He is called because he is strong. <laughs> Thank you for all those hearts. <laughs> he is called to be a man of God who gets on his knees and prays for this country. He's not called to be a man who, I mean, his personality probably, he probably never will stop saying some of the stupid stuff he says. Um, and because it's, he has to get out of that nature. He has to be taught. You renew your mind with the word of God. And until and as he does that, he's still going to be a little bit of the same uh, swearing kind of person. But we don't need a preacher in the office. We need a strong man that is has a history that can run his own business, that knows how to negotiate, that knows how to talk to people, and that most of all will not back down. Trump has a strong personality. And these countries that he has to deal with and some tough decisions that he would have to make as president, he will be able to make. He will stand up. He has a, most of the Christian community behind him. And it has been prophesied over and over, this is God's will to get Trump in there, whether you believe it or not. I believe that if, if we need to pray for protection, first of all, for Donald Trump. Second of all, not just physical protection, but we need to pray uh, for uh, his... Um, protection of his the devil is going to smear him in every way possible i have very close family members that would argue with me that that person is voting for hillary she okay that person has no clue what hillary stands for and and what donald stands for all she sees is the trash that the bought media is saying to us the media is bought people don't believe anything about the media. Don't believe pharmaceutical. They are bought. Your medicines, your, your doctor stuff, it's all a bunch of lies. Don't The media reports what they're paid to report. They have even admitted it. You have to spend time with God yourself. If you don't get on your knees or on your face or praising and worshiping and asking God who to vote for, you will vote for who you think is the most logical candidate. But even if you don't pray, even if you just go to the Christian um, where they say these are what the people, this person believes in this and this and this, and this person is going for this and this, you will see plainly and clearly that Hillary is against everything that is uh, valuable, everything that is good. And now, like Dale says, Trump has a narchi nar narcistic, I can't even say that word, personality. He does. He tends to be a little bit bossy. He tends to be um, a bully at times. But you know what? He's growing up. And I don't, I don't, personally, I think he's, I think he has some bully nature in him and he's immature. But look at David in the Bible. He looked at a woman out of the window that was bathing or kissing his, uh, her husband and bathing and, and he committed adultery with her and then he murdered her. I mean, Trump was a, unsaved person and now he's saved and he got to grow up so until he grows up put up with his personality and pray god and ask who you should vote for uh the key is he has to grow up and in the meantime he has god's heart he is listening he is available to god he is um open to god hillary is totally the opposite totally the opposite she is just ungodly in, er in every every way that you can think of now yes um, uh, jamie says uh, the media picks out donald sins and mostly ignores clinton's yes the, the media is one-sided the media is bought don't believe anything the media says pray about it and if they say that there's this is going to happen this hurricane this tornado this terrorist happened speak to the tv as a christian you have authority you have dominion over everything in this world you have the authority over the spirits that are influencing the people. You don't have authority over the people. You have authority over the spirits that are influencing them. So speak to that spirit. You can say, in Jesus' name, I command that spirit behind Hillary that is causing her to believe in abortion, causing her to believe in things that are not Christian values. I bind that spirit. I take authority over that spirit in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, open up her eyes. Open up her eyes to see the truth. I take authority over every lying and deceiving spirit in her, um, in her uh, group of people. And I just command uh, those spirits to stop. 
I break their authority, I, you know, and so on. And so you have to speak to the TV. You have to speak to the spirits behind the people doing things that they, they shouldn't be doing. Even people who believe things they shouldn't be believing, you can take authority over that spirit and say, Father, I just, you know, show them the truth and say, I take authority behind that spirit, lying to them, telling that my neighbor, my friend, whoever, uh, to believe that this is the right way to vote. I take authority behind that spirit, deceiving them, lying to them. I bind it. I loosen it off as a society. It is not allowed. Uh, Father, I thank you that you sent the ministering angels to minister to them, the Holy Spirit to teach them and show them the truth, direct their path so that they can see the truth, so that they know which way to vote. Um, make them hungry for you. Father, cause them to get on their knees and seek you. Open yourself, uh, uh, reveal to them your love you have for them, how valuable and how special they are. And, and, and in that, Father, show them the love and the way that you desire for them to vote. And... Um, that's the way that you can pray for somebody who is, is, um, I'm, I'm talking and reading at the same time, which obviously I don't do very well. <laughs> um, yes. And that's a good thing. Um, Laura says the guy can take away Trump's ego. That's a very good thing to pray for Trump. Father, I pray that you would soften Trump, that you would reveal to him how to speak in love. That's something that he's not doing very well. I bind that spirit behind uh, Trump that would cause him to be harsh or um, that would um, cause him to be hurtful or say hurtful things. I take authority over that spirit behind Trump doing that in Jesus' name. And Father, just reveal to Trump what lie that he is believing that causes him to be a little bit mouthy or a little bit harsh. And then show him the truth. Show him how uh, to walk in that truth. So you take authority... Everything we do and say is influenced by the spirit realm. And so as we're influenced by the spirit realm, we also influence the spirit realm. So you, you want to talk to, you want to command those spirits because we have authority and dominion. So it says my connection is weak. So I'm going to probably end really quick here. So does anybody have anything else? I'm trying to read. Thank you, Canada, for praying for America and that we wake up and we surely, we surely need to wake up, uh, we need Christians to stand up and to, to, to speak life to situations and circumstances. Um, we need to take authority over um, everything that's going on. We, we need to um, speak to the spirit that is causing uh, the illegal immigrants uh, to come into our country to push their beliefs. We, take, we need to take a spirit uh, authority over the terrorism spirit. Or the drug cartel coming through Mexico, destroying people's lands, bringing in these horrible, horrible drugs uh, that people have been overdosing on. And uh, we need anything that you see in your life and your community and your sphere of influence. You have authority and dominion, even in your country, to speak to and command it to stop. Excuse me. So do that. Um, get some. If you don't know how to do this, get some of my books. Uh, my books teach this, robinbremer.net. Look for me on Amazon. I got 36 books. I'm working on about six more right now. Um, get those books, read them. Um, learn how to walk in authority and dominion, how to pray for Trump, uh, for his protection, for his direction, how to pray for Hillary. She needs to get saved. You know, you might not, and I might not like what she believes in and what she's pushing, but she's getting older and she's sick and we need to pray for her. We need to pray for her salvation. We need to pray that she would become, she would understand the love of God. You know, she needs to know the love of God. She needs to know that she is valuable. She needs to know that there is a place for her. There is a purpose for her. And it's not to be the president of the United States. <laughs> uh, but she needs to know where her place is, you know. But we don't want anyone to go to hell because hell is forever and it's a horrible place. We want them to spend eternity in heaven. But sin can't get in. And the only way that you can get into heaven is by, re, by the, the wages of sin is death, okay, forever in hell. But Jesus came and he paid the price. He, he took on a man, nature as man and he lived a sinless life for us in our place. And then he died the death we should have died. He took all of our sicknesses, all of our diseases, all of our poverty, all of, all of our lack, all of our sorrow, grief and pain, and even our uh, abandonment by God uh, or you know, it's God not helping us, however you want to look at it. And he took that all on himself. And then he died and he went to heaven. He sent back the Holy Spirit to live inside of us 
God himself lives inside of us. You are so righteous, holy, and pure that God himself lives inside of you right now. You're not going to get any more righteous, any more pure, and any more holy than you are right now. Because God lives inside your spirit. And your spirit is perfect. What you are renewing and transforming is your soul, which is your mind, will, and your emotions, and your body. Your body will just follow along wherever it's led. So you got to let your spirit lead. And your soul has to be transformed by studying the word, finding what God already gave us. And then your body, you tell it to obey you. So you become a Christian by receiving Jesus into your heart. The Holy Spirit comes to live inside of you, fills you with the Holy Spirit, and empowers you to walk on this earth. Yes. Save Hillary. Open her eyes to, to uh, who she is in Christ and, and to walk in that power and authority. She needs to get saved. And so... So read some of my books, um, PM your name and your book's name, Robin Bremer. Just type in Robin, R-O-B-I-N, Bremer, B-R-E-M-E-R -E -E on the internet. And about the first 16 pages come up will be about me because i am got about 500 videos on YouTube uh, under Feed My People Joy where I'm preaching and teaching the word. I got 36 books on Amazon that'll come up and I have about 500 videos. I'm also a ventriloquist. So I have 500 books under ribbons. I mean, 500 videos on YouTube under ribbons, the clown. So, um, so get my books. Hey, write a good review. If you get my books. Okay. I need some reviews. Some of them, I'm a best-selling author. Some of my books are, have been in the number one spot and are in the top 100. Hey, a really good book is spirit, soul, and body. That's one of my favorite that I've written. Uh, that's a very good foundation. And another one is, um, supernatural, uh, Raising the Dead, Supernatural Wine, Angels, and Other Christian Things. It's another one of my favorite that I'm written. And right now I'm writing some books on grace that will transform your life. Um, and they'll be ready in a day or two. Two of them will be ready and the other three will be ready in another week or so. So my name is Robin Bremer. Just type it on the internet. I'll come up all over the place. And do me a favor. Share this video with your social media and social media friends and, and get them to pray and ask God who to vote for because we got to get, we got to pray and believe. See, God's will does not happen unless Christians pray and God's will is Trump for this time. So he gave us all authority and dominion on this earth. He gave men. So we need to pray him in. We need to believe him in. We need to pray protection. So share it with your social media sites and your friends. And I'll try to respond to some of the things that I didn't respond live. I'll try to respond on your video. Um, check out my Facebook page and uh, my profile. If you're an author and you have a book and a Christian you want to publish, that's what I do. I charge $300 and I publish your book. I also promote and do other stuff. So I'm going to shut it down for now. I really love listening to your comments or I should say seeing your comments. And um, I love you guys. I love my tribe. I love my bunch of people. Thank you for joining me. And I will talk to you soon because I love doing live videos. So uh, we'll talk to you later. Be blessed and vote. In Jesus' name. Bye-bye. <laughs>